Hi everyone, my name is Angela from Angela Stitches and welcome back to my channel. So I finally started working on Baker's wife and I only got a little bit done on her arms here. And I think I'm going to have to move the fabric onto the Q-snap um, the other way around. So like this vertically and stitch it this way because stitching this right now is really difficult and I was hurting my neck a little bit when I was working on it last night. So I stopped stitching after like 10 minutes here. So... Yeah, and I could just keep it horizontally like this and just move the fabric up, but if I can, I want to not have the Q-snaps on my stitching as much as possible. And I think this whole thing can fit onto the Q-snap vertically, except like the oval border later on. So yeah, I'm going to stitch it that way and try avoiding snapping my excess with the Q-snaps. So I'm going to do that later tonight. And I also worked more on my English paper piecing, so I cut these pieces into squares and I just need to stitch them around the paper. And this is really easy to work on when I'm watching TV because I'm not looking at a chart or anything. So I can just work on it while hanging out with my family at the same time. And I don't remember if I showed you these pieces, but I did these when I was watching TV the other night as well. So it's a really good project to work on while spending time with my family. And then I also did another round on my doily. I actually did two rounds, but I misread the pattern, so I had to start over one of the rounds, but I think I'm going to use this up and then start the other, or the outer rounds with the pink that I have, because I still have this pink left, and I don't think this is long enough to finish one full doily from the book, so I think I'm just going to use the pink and the rest of the green for this doily. So I don't think this is going to be a pretty looking doily because I don't think these two colors go well together. But I'm just considering this as like a practice piece for me to learn. And someone wanted to see the model tank that my brother and I were working on in my last video. And so far it really doesn't look like anything. Um, we just got the bottom like the wheels attached and colored the tires. And then these parts are glued. I don't know the names of these parts but we glued those on. So this isn't the actual image of the tank model, but a rendering of it. Um, but so far we just have the wheels and like the bottom section of the tank. Um, and I'll try to update the tank too if you want to see our progress on it. But yeah, just working on a lot of different things at the moment. So it's been another couple of days since my last update and this is my progress from last night because last night was the only time that I had time to stitch. And I only stitched the arms with the white and then spent most of my time just parking all these threads. And I think I was a little bored with the white. So I just decided to skip her skin for now and just work on her dress. I don't remember where I left my chart so I can't show you what this looks like finished. But I think I want to work on this until this weekend and try getting to her waist area. Um, I think there are a lot of like ruffle details around her waist. So I thought that would be kind of fun to work on. So yeah, but it's way easier stitching it this way vertically on my Q-snap. It doesn't hurt my neck and I'm not straining any muscles. So yeah, I'm going to work on this again tonight. If I feel like it, maybe I'll go back to her skin and finish that. But I don't know yet. And my brother and I started watching Loki and WandaVision, or we actually finished the shows, both shows on Wednesday night, and I was just working on my English paper piecing the whole time. So I don't remember how much I had last time when I showed you this box, 
but yeah, I finished a lot of the hexagons while watching the shows and then um, yeah, I really liked both shows, but I felt really sad after watching WandaVision, but I really liked it. Um, but yeah, so I cut more paper and this isn't going to be nearly enough for a quilt, but so far I'm really enjoying making these. And I think I have a clip of me cutting these fabrics with my paper cutter and it's so much easier cutting it that way and also faster. So I'm just going to do that from now instead of using my scissors. And I still have eight more pieces. And after I use these up, I'm going to check my other boxes of stuff from Margarita and also from my own stash to continue this cult. So yeah, so far I'm only working on Baker's Wife. Usually I have two or three projects going at the same time, but for now I'm just going to focus on Baker's Wife. So I just finished cutting out the papers and the felt. Same here for the angel. Um, oh, I have tape on the felt. But yeah, so those are done. And now I'm going to work on the hanger for these small items. And in the picture, if you look at it closely, the hanger is braided with three different colors of DMC. So I thought that was a really cool idea. So I'm going to do the same thing, but with Krennic. So I have a green Krennic ribbon. And then I'm going to use this gold Krennic. I think it's number eight. And then another green Krennic, a little lighter one. And then I had some green floss just laying around. So I'm just going to use this as well. So yeah, I'm going to make my hanger with these and I'm going to try and finish this tonight. So last night I started working on finishing my ornament. So I finished cutting out the papers and the backing felt and everything and this is the hanger for the ornament and it's not like the paper and the felt it's not perfect I actually messed up a little bit but I think it should be okay and then I finished attaching the decorations onto the hanger which I braided just like in the picture but with Krennic which by the way I think I think I like how this looks better than using memory threads because that's what I've been using so far for my ornaments so then I got to the gluing part to glue this here, but I realized that I was out of glue sticks uh, for my glue gun. So I could have used other glues, but I really like to use glue sticks because it's less messier. So I'm going to go to the store today and get some and then finish this today because I really want to use the glue sticks for my ornaments. So yeah, really excited about having a finish because it's been a while since I finished anything. So. Yeah, and then I also worked on my Mirabilia. So this is what she looks like right now, and I think it's so pretty. So I finished all of the park threads that I had here, and I didn't know there was a ribbon here, but I think I'm gonna move down and work on the dress again. And also the skin maybe, if I feel like it. I think I might just even start with that maybe, I don't know, because it looks kind of weird right now. But yeah, I think it looks really pretty, and I think I'm just going to work on this until the weekend. I think I already said that, but yeah, so I'm going to work on this until Sunday and then start working on Rose Quaker. I'm about to head out to get some glue sticks, but I just wanted to come here to show you some fabrics. I was looking through my stuff for my glue sticks for this project and I just took this out from my cabinet as well. But this is some of the stuff that Margarita sent me this year and also last year, but there's a lot more fabric here. So let me just take these out first. These are really pretty too, but right now I just wanted to show you the fabric. So yeah, there are a lot of florals, which I really like, and I just wasn't sure what to do with these. I knew that I wanted to use some for finishings, like these Christmas fabrics, but most of them are floral that I can use also for finishing ornaments, but there's just so much that I knew I, was gonna, I wasn't going to be able to use all of it with just by making ornaments. But now that I started a new English paper piecing project, I'm really excited to take these out and start using them. 
because these are really pretty and I really wanted to use them for something. So I'm going to finish these first and then get to this box, but yeah, I'm really excited to finally use them. finally because it's been a while since I finished anything and I forgot how much I enjoy finishing ornaments but I won't be able to do another perforated paper project until I get more paper but yeah really happy with how this turned out it's not perfect but still really happy with it so this is my ninth angel by Brooks Books I still have several more to finish but yeah really happy with how this turned out so I'm going to hang these with my other ornaments and yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here because I think it's a nice place to stop um, with a finish. So yeah, I hope you liked this video too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!